and Sean Hannity joins us now. Sean, uh, good morning. Great good to morning. see you. Happy anniversary. Uh, to you too. Right back at By the you. Way, all right, you guys talked about this earlier. Steve Ducey, Peter Ducey looks like Steve Ducey back in the day. Yeah. But but now, Gavin, your producer, uh, it's he either wakes me up with a marching band or <laughs> he shocks me awake with pictures of me that are hideous from 25 years ago and whoever aired those pictures ah. needs to be fired <laughs> yesterday. Uh, That's it. Yeah. No, you know, we did have the idea to come to your house with a marching band this morning and surprise <laughs> you. Bum, 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 bum. No, we were scared you might come oh, out with a man. weapon. No, so, 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 uh, uh, all right, whoever is running this animation, I hate. I just want you to know for the record. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at you. Channel. I'm Sean Hannity. See, and your son looks like you now. You had oh, hair. I have sons that look like you. Sean, you had hair like a helmet back then. Still do. Well, well the this, this funny thing is, is in a way, my son has hair just like that. Yeah. So this is what his hair will be like a few years down, <laughs> 25 years from now. Um, and, you know, it, it, when we think back, and Steve, I had actually forgotten that you were the weather guy, right? So, well, you, Sean, do you remember that when you you and Alan did a show at night, Hannity and Combs, nine o'clock right. at night? But once a week, Hannity and Combs came into Studio B, and you would have a debate, and I would moderate. But the, <laughs> there was no shutting you guys up, so no. I would just randomly have to say, okay. And by the way, Enough for the record, you. nothing has changed. I right. never shut up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know what? You've done okay. <laughs> uh, we, we got lucky. Thank you, Jesus. That's the, the end of that one. Um, you know, I will say this. Um, on one little serious note, you know, I, it, I, I look back on this, this time, this 25-year period, as, you know, it's changed my life. Roger Ailes hires me. I had, he had no reason to hire me. I was awful on television. Mm -hmm. And I used to ask him, well, why didn't you fire me? Because I was so bad. And he had a good answer. He said, well, nobody was watching in the early days, number one. And number two, he goes, I knew you would get it because I was a radio broadcaster. And I'm just kind of grateful because what we get to do every day is an honor this great audience that you guys have. And, and you've been number one now for years in the morning uh, on cable news. Um, I'm just very humbled. I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. It's changed my life and it's fun. I've done real work for a living and 20 years of my life. I was, you know, 10 years in construction, 10 mm -hmm. years in restaurants. I've been working since I'm eight years old and pretty independent since then. And, and if I wasn't doing this and getting paid, I'd be driving around in my car talking to myself and I'd look <laughs> like Brian. That's what Brian does. Yeah, let's Brian, be honest. He, <laughs> you spotted me on the road on Long Island. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, hey, we'll all be retired in Florida one day, and we'll all be driving around. We'll all be talking right. to Sean, ourselves, yeah, doing a show. Believe me, I'll be getting voicemail when I call you, Sean. We'll so. be at the Villages, and we'll all have <laughs> yeah, golf carts. Right. Yeah, we'll all have, we're all going to have golf carts, and, you know, it won't be coffee in the cup. I can pretty much guarantee that, too. Right. We had coffee uh, Sean, younger. Sean, what would your parents say if they were alive to see your success? Because I know you always talk about oh, being incorrigible when you were a child. I was, I was an incorrigible child. I mean, I, my poor mother, the prison guard that worked 16 hours a day, you know, would say to me when I'm 10, 11, 12 years old, do not leave this house. And I'd say, you can't stop me. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm kind of embarrassed by it. But, um, you know, my, they did get to see the early days when I started at Fox. My dad died in March of 97, six, six months after I started. And for both of them, it was a shock because they, they knew I worked yep. hard. They knew I had a good work ethic. Um, but I don't think any, I don't think either one of them expected this. I certainly didn't expect this. In, in the early days, I remember, you know, Bill Shine and I once having a conversation saying, do you think we'll get three years out of this? <laughs> you know, right. not knowing Be, what and, would happen. And Sean, but, it, but, it was touch and go in the beginning because you have to, a cable outfit needs advertisers. And if you're not seen in New York, you don't get advertisers. Correct. And CNN was owned by Time Warner and Time Warner wouldn't put us on. They wouldn't put us on. That was a big, big hurdle, a big challenge. And, you know, I will tell you, it was, and you got to give credit to, you know, Rupert, Roger, all the people that were the brains behind this. It was a bold innovation. Everybody laughed. Nobody thought it would be successful. 
Um, not only did we very quickly become number one, but we've been able to maintain that number one position for a long period of time. It is a very competitive industry. I think the reason for our success is that we have stayed true to that that original motto, fair and balanced. Mm -hmm. um, and we report, you decide. And I know the media doesn't portray us that way, but if you look throughout the day, um, you know, I get up in the morning, I like to get my news from you guys to find out what's happened in the world. Um, and all day long as I'm preparing for three hours of radio and then writing the TV show and, and getting things right. prepared for my show at night, and it's an all-day affair, it never stops. I'm like a Marine all week, and I'm a loser, and I, you know, I basically <laughs> just work. Right. And, you know, it's, you look throughout the day, you see all these different voices on this channel, mm -hmm. all these different points of view yep. on this channel. Right. I mean, the three of you hardly agree on everything. Right. I mean, Brian is usually wrong. Um, and he's least right. Oh. Right. So, Sean, do you have, can I ask you, I want to put you on the spot. Out of the three of us, do you have a favorite anchor? <laughs> Yes, he does. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's between Steve and Ainsley for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nah. uh, you know, and this is the amazing thing. We have, all of us have been friends for many years yeah. now. Yeah. And I, I honestly can say that I get along with everybody on the channel. And, and people right. say, well, but, but this person doesn't agree with you on this, and this person doesn't agree with you well, on that. Okay. I'm like, so what? yeah, that's. That, yeah. That's fine. I, you know, I'm, yeah. That's life. So Sean, if, if you all knew what we know about him, he's the most generous person. He, he pays is. for lunch and dinners for his entire staff on radio and TV every single day. He doesn't care what they order. He has given so many wonderful, generous gifts to people that have needed things to pay for funerals and um, to put kids through college here at the network, people that have been a part of his life, people who don't make as much money. So you're just a really good right. person, Sean, and you've helped all of our careers. We yeah, appreciate you, you, you characterize nice Sean with that, one but... word, kindness. Yes. It really is. Uh, so, and that's the only thing nice I'll say now, about you. You know what? You have just ruined my career. It ended today. <laughs> you are a kind guy. I, I'd, I'd like to keep, you know, up. Here's the thing. You know, we live in amazing times. I, I can tell you when I first started in radio, I've been on radio now 33 years, um, you, did, you didn't have the internet. I mean, my right. first computer was, you know, two... I think five and a quarter inch floppy disks and, and DOS right. and a radio know, shack. Right. Until Al Gore created the Internet. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we didn't have access to information the way right. we do now. My phone blows up all day long with, you know, this story and this story and this story and people that work with me and for me and right. work together. And they're sending me information. We have more information available at our fingertips than at any other point in history. And this information yeah. age, it's news at the speed of light. And, and, and you know what, Sean? That's a great thing about your program, because you're able to take all that information from the day, summarize it in an hour, and give a point of view. And that's why you are the king of cable. And that's why we had to talk to you on no, our 25th anniversary. I'm the anniversary. king of cable, because I put Peter Ducey on. <laughs> And well, it, it is now must-see TV to watch Peter and Jen Psaki. Yes, he has got to see questions. it every day. It's yeah. great TV, and I know you're you're proud of Peter. Um, he's doing an amazing job, like everybody else on the channel. And uh, honestly, I'm honored. I'm proud. I'm thankful. I'm appreciative. I'm humbled that I've I've been right. a small a spoke in the wheel of what I think has changed media forever. And, you know, I'm just getting reports now. You've agreed to be a daily contributor in the morning. So I, we appreciate that. That's going to be <laughs> really exciting. All right, just Sean send Hannity. the marching band over every morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Hannity. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. All right. Happy anniversary. Uh, indeed. You too. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.